welcome back to another episode of Let's Chat presented by Couples Couch with Pat and I'm Cam. Let's get into this week's episode. Happy Wednesday. But before we do, let's get into a little bit of housekeeping. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. You know what I'm about to say. We do not get into the nitty gritty details of everything that we're going to talk about in today's episode. Be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button to support our channel and continue to expand our reach across YouTube. Also, follow us on Instagram. The at to our Instagram page is running right here across your screen. And if you haven't already, what is you doing? Shop our merch. We have plenty of items in stock. The link to our store is in the description box and in the comment section under our video. Last but not least, I added one more thing to the housekeeping. If you would like to collab with Couples Couch or you want us to promote your product, simply send us an email. The at to our email is right here across your screen. Want to collab with Couples Couch? Want us to promote your products? Email us and we'll definitely collaborate. That's all I have for housekeeping. Let's get into this week's episode. In this episode of Let's Chat, we will feature the topic, the mango letter. If you are new to the mango letter, it is where viewers will send Couples Couch with Pat and Cam their stories so they can hear our perspective on their topic. Please, disclaimer, do not take this as professional advice. We are not offering legal advice. Take this as how you want to take it. Take it how you want to take it. <laughs> Legal advice? What, right. what letters just are sent in, in this week? <laughs> just, just in case, let's make it clear that we are not offering professional advice. This is just our thoughts, perspectives, and ideas, right? There's some wild people send us in their life story. <laughs> we have two mango letters for this episode. Let's get into mango letter number one. Mango letter number one. I've personally named this mango letter, There's a Stranger in My House. Hence our intro song. <laughs> um, I do want to put out another quick disclaimer that Patrick has no idea what these topics are. So he is hearing it for the very first time as you all are. So okay. we're going to get everybody's authentic response here and now. So let's get into it. My husband's relationship with his daughter has been strained for 16 years. This past spring, she called and she said she was stranded at the airport and needed him to come pick her up. When we picked her up from the airport, she informed us that she needed to stay with us for an extended amount of time because she had nowhere to go and she had no money. During her time here, her relationship with her father was strained because she continued to disrespect her father. For example, she wouldn't speak to him when he entered a room and sometimes even ignored him and rolled her eyes while he was talking to her. We caught her in several lies and distortions of the truth. There were many times that she would have a mental breakdown and begin yelling and cursing on the phone with her friends. We have a young child in the home that could hear all of the cursing and the derogatory language she would use when she would have her mental breakdown. Also, let me provide a little bit of background. She is 25 years old and estranged from her mother and her entire family back in her home state. She refuses to call them or give us any information. I have been on the internet to try to find some information on her family and we keep coming up dry. We are now wondering what to do with her. My husband wants to put her out, but worried he, uh, that she has nowhere to go. I want her to go as well. However, I was a stepchild to an unresponsive stepmother and, and I didn't want to be that type of stepmother because I know how it feels right so she doesn't do the dishes sweep mop or anything we have asked her several times to wash dishes sweep or pick up after herself clean her room etc it's like she's a nine-year-old and incapable of taking care of herself question for pat and cam and our viewing audience do i tell my husband to kick her out or let her figure it out on her own or do I let him drag his feet while she continues to stay with us with no job? Signed, stuck like Chuck. <laughs> this is heavy. This is real, real heavy. I got a lot of thoughts on this. I do. But you you were listening. Yeah. You were listening. So what are your thoughts? I'll let you go first. 
knee jerk reaction, she gotta go immediately. Immediately, right? Mm -hmm. But you gotta okay, let's, calm down. That let's is not think emotionally, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So pick her up at the airport. All right, we're going back to my house. Okay, gotta, gotta bring her home. Okay. But as far as the not acknowledging me when I come in the room. Rolling your rolling eyes. Rolling your eyes. These are all attitude things. Right. These it's are all things that tell me you want you want to be out right. my house. in these streets. Right. Like, I'm not putting you out. You're leaving. Right. <laughs> right. You get a one-way ticket. Yeah. Like, I'm not putting up with it. Right. Uh, not knowing how to clean up after you. Well, we can. I'm. I don't want to have to teach a grown person how to do it. Right. But I am definitely capable. And the now, fact that are you able to deal with the way that I teach it? Mm. That might be a problem. So again, right. you'll be asking to leave. Okay. So I'm not gonna put you out, but you're gonna leave. Okay. My response to this is a lot like yours, similar. I don't want this stranger in my house. You know? Well, I definitely, I'm not tiptoeing around nowhere. I'm going to tell you straight up, look. Yeah. I let you stay here. You don't have a job. You don't have no money. Like, I don't, I'm not going to hold. I'm, I, I don't understand why I'm holding back. Right. You're broke. Right. You have nothing. You have no You education. have nowhere else to go. Right. If you leave here, to my knowledge, you have nothing else left to do except be down the street because you can't stay in front of my house. I'll call the cops on you. Right. So... It is now up to you. Mm -hmm. The ball's in your court. You need to clean up. Yes. You need to acknowledge me when I come in the room. Right. You need to act like I'm doing you a favor. You you as the father is what right. you're saying. Yes. Right, right. Okay, okay. You need to act like I'm doing you a favor. You need to be appreciative right. and show appreciation. Yes. If not, you'll be asking to leave. From the beginning of this letter, it says that her and the father has had a strained relationship for the past 16 years. Right, we years. can work on our relationship, but you have to do the bare minimum as a you living, have to breathing do the work, human. Yes. It's not even work. Cleaning up after yourself, yes. cleaning your dishes, yes. not leaving dirt every these are just the minimal expectations yes. of a grown person. Mm -hmm. If you can't even live up to that, we can't work any further on yes. anything else yes. while you're in my home. Yeah. You have to leave. We can call whenever you can get some quarters and dimes to call me. <laughs> we can work on our relationship that way. But if you can't do the simple things correct, as a grown person, how do we work on anything else? And then from the stepmother perspective, I know that this woman is probably feeling like I don't want to overstep my boundaries and tell my husband to kick his child out because we still have to remember this is his child too you know what i mean even though we you know make you know light of there's a stranger in my house it's still his child so i understand the tiptoeing around it not wanting to be the first one to raise your hand and be like yeah she got to go but i would personally speak my piece to my husband and be like okay we can maybe work out a happy medium here, but she can't be here long term. Remind remind your man that, hey, you are the man and your child can't talk to you like that. That's all he needs to be reminded. Okay. And okay. let him take care of it. Because it's his child. Yeah. Okay. okay. By you manipulating, you're going to get in muddy waters. Yeah. And you know what Poppy says about a mud hole. <laughs> you play, play around a mud hole, you're bound to get, get dirty. dirty. Yeah. Just Thanks, remind Poppy. your husband, like, listen, I understand the situation is weird, but you're my husband, and this child is disrespecting you to your face. Right. I want to step in and deal with it, but I think you should deal with it. Yeah. Because you know what, it comes. It's, she comes in and then she shakes up the whole dynamic of the whole house. Right. So then now, so she shakes up the dynamic of the marriage too. Right. Right. But you, the letters focusing on her being in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, the first thing that needs to be focused on is one, her being respectful. Correct. And two, her meeting the minimum expectations. expectations. Yes. Once those two things have been established, then we can work on the relationship or we can work on what we're going to do next or work on getting a job. But it'd be foolish of me to expect you to get a job when you can't do the minimum things. In the household. Right. Right. We have to get those two things worked out. And if those two things don't work out, none of the other stuff matters. That's because true. without those, without respect 
and you meeting the minimum expectations of an adult. Yeah. How do we work on our relationship? How do we mend anything if those two things aren't done? That's true. So do we answer the question, do I tell my husband to kick her out? No. That's the answer to that. No. That might start trouble with you and him. I would suggest you just pulling him to the side and giving him a pep talk, basically. Yeah. Like, he knows what has to be done. Okay, so there's your answer, girl. Stuck like Chuck. Don't tell him to kick his child out. Um, but you guys do need to have a an adult right. conversation, you know, outside of her. He just needs to be reminded that he's the man. Yeah. Figuratively and literally. literally. <laughs> wow, this is heavy, huh? I'm him. Okay. Get out my house. Uh, <laughs> The said. child needs to leave, but you 25. don't need... And then we got to remember, too, we keep using the word child. Yeah. It's his kid, yes, yes, but she is 25 years old. That's a grown person. With nowhere to go, no money, no nothing. You know what I mean? Like, you got to get it together, boo-boo. Like, you have to be doing something. Yeah, and you got to be respectful. I'm not s- I agree. supporting a bum. Yeah. Let me go back to the last mango letter. <laughs> and with that... You ready to move on into mango letter number two? Number deuce. Let's move on into mango letter number two. Mango letter number two. Let's get into it. Okay. This mango letter I named, it goes down in the DM. After reading it, I was like, this is a perfect title for this topic. This is why if y'all hit me up in the DM, you get no response. I don't even check my DMs. (laughs) So even if you hit me up in my dibs, the person that's going to see it is her. <laughs> so play at your own I risk. think we share something. Like we our accounts are yeah. shared, so I don't know how yeah. it works. <laughs> but don't send me nothing because I'm not opening it. <laughs> Let's get into this mango letter number two. It's It reads, hi, Pat and Cam. I have been married for over 15 years, and I have a stylist who does a wonderful job with our daughter's hair. The stylist is a male hairstylist. Every appointment, he has shown the utmost professionalism. I have been his client for a year, and our most recent appointment was around three months ago. He uses Instagram direct messages, aka DMs, to confirm his appointments and discuss styles with existing clients. A few weeks ago, he sent me a shirtless picture in Instagram's DM, in her Instagram DM, and she says, my thought was it was an error. I sent a reply back to him that read, I think this was sent to me in error. (laughs) He replied back. Oh my bad, I thought you were your husband. (laughs) He replied back, no, it was meant for you. He thinks you're your husband. He got your numbers mixed up in his phone. You got Mr. and Mrs. whatever your last name is mixed up. She says, I didn't respond back to him and I have blocked him on my Instagram. The question is for Pat and Cam and of course our couch potatoes. Should I tell my husband about this? Should I let him know about this? (sighs) Signed, blocked him. Woo, okay. Now, can I answer first? Can I answer first? My first response. Why do you want to answer first? <laughs> I just want to. Rob get, about to get. I just. Why Rob? Dug, dug <laughs> next time. I see he's the only one to do hair around here. Wait a second. <laughs> Me and PJ go show up at Rob's barbershop like Don King and, Alf- <laughs> and Buckwheat. <laughs> hair all over the place. Can Where is it? <laughs> Let me give my perspective. This is just my perspective. In the book of Cam, I would have immediately deleted the, you know, the message, the DM. Mm -hmm. I personally wouldn't have blocked him because I still want him to do my kid's hair, right? (laughs) But I would have deleted the DM and for CYA purposes. What the? the, (laughs) It doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. It doesn't make any sense. Like I went on a date with a guy. He got a little touchy. He was gropy, but he took me to a nice restaurant. And next Friday, I've already agreed to go out with him again. 
Because I really enjoy the food. I just hope he isn't gropey again. Like talking about this is the worst. This is why I need to be able to see your DMs. You don't make good decisions. <laughs> That's a good decision. No. I deleted it. No. But I know he got it. But he's back. still the problem. He didn't stop. But I told you. CYA purposes. I'm letting you know this dude is wild. He's a wild individual. Yeah, I'm wilder. <laughs> right. We about to be wild together. And nah, because he know me. <laughs> no, nah, there ain't no going. I don't give a damn. You know, yeah, I don't give a damn what he does with a hairdo. I'm just saying. All right, well, I'm we, saying too. I'm gonna I'm become a hairdresser. A I'm a hairdresser now too. <laughs> I'm scalping. Let me give you a cut. We wanna we wanna keep him locked in for the hair for the hairdressing. I want to keep him locked in. All right. <laughs> but I would definitely, for CYA purposes. Tell my husband, because here's where you don't want to get caught up. If you up. tell your husband, you're never going back to that hairdresser again. Ever. <laughs> I don't care what he does. Especially if he's anything like this one. <laughs> he's like, I don't care if he's see him. finger wave. He's still in there <laughs> with a chubby every time you take the kid in there to get his hair done. You think that goes away because you deleted? He's DM. I, we would never see the light of day of that band shop. Again. No, I will. <laughs> one more time. Because he know me. Listen. He playing me. He try. He... For the sake of not getting jammed up with your husband, please tell him. That's my. That's my. Yeah, because then if I find out he's sending right. shirtless DMs and you just deleting them, but still going to appointment, <laughs> that makes no sense. It makes no sense. That's what... you're not giving him Yo. any response. People can't. It take two to tango, so we're not giving him anything to go with, right? He already went with it. He didn't need much. Just, He's sending you shirtless, but he waiting for it. Man. <laughs> all right, Please. all right. I'm gonna start sending Please. shirtless pictures stop. to people. Stop. I'm going to people DM. <laughs> Will you send her shirtless pictures in the DM? Nah, I figured she was gonna delete it, and then we're all good as long as she deleted. Saying though, right? yeah, you think about what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, we're deleting because he right? can do a, a cold we're, ass finger wave. We're, we're gonna keep him around. <laughs> you crazy. He bad with have the finger seen, wave. Have you seen what he does with Brazilian though? He's, I can't let him go. He's bad with a sewing. So yeah, he bad. All right, <laughs> so something else. In. <laughs> Just think about this. You no. if you don't give people something, you don't, you're not engaging, right? You're mm. not engaging. <laughs> You're not engaging, and you're also telling your spouse, like, this person is a wild individual. So what kind of beta spouse do you think is just going to be like, all right, well, <laughs> just don't be late to the next appointment. All right, what's your advice, then? <laughs> what's I, your, your advice is clearly... His shop going to get shut down for at least a week. Jesus. All right, so you're pretty much saying... It's a wrap. We can block can't, him. He already disrespected me. Stop he using knows. Him as a he knows me. He seen us in there. He took my card that was given by you with my name on it because uh -oh. he knows we're together. Uh -oh. And he's still sending shirtless DMs. Nah. Wow. I got that. bro. We gotta. I, I need to fade. <laughs> so uh, clearly, your stance is block him. Don't no longer or do not use him as a hairdresser any further and tell your husband. Yes. And my stance was delete it, delete the post, tell your husband, and try to lock down that next appointment if it's available. Yep. Your marriage gonna get messed up over a bob. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I say don't take this advice. This is all about respect, man. Both okay. situations. Okay. And if the daughter shows more respect, they can work that out. Okay. If the hairdresser would have shown respect, it would not never been this. And now the wife needs to show her husband about respect by telling him and discontinuing okay. the appointment. <laughs> you know, it's you just know how this man sent you a serpent and you, now he up him rubbing on your head. It's, I know how good it's, it's getting hard. your hair washed feels. <laughs> it's, it's, it's for her daughter. It's not for her. Too, yeah, that so. ain't what he thinking. <laughs>
that's all we have this week for Mango Letters. If you have a Mango Letter and you would like to share it, be sure to email us. Again, the add to our email address is running right here across your screen. So I'm you starting to think these damn website. Mango Letters is just Kamara writing in shit she want to know. <laughs> I want to see how far I yeah, can get with it. Every married couple been married the same amount of time. We got a new Mango 15 years. <laughs> We've been together 15 years. <laughs> That's not true. Be sure to drop your comments in the comment section below. Were you below. just trying to let me know the 15 year mark is when stuff starts to get exposed. I got four good years. Now I got to do something. Be sure to drop your comments in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button to support our channel. We thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next episode of Let's Chat and we're so thankful to have you on. DM me if you're a private investigator <laughs> in the North Texas area. I might have some work. Bye y'all. Deuces.